Hey guys, welcome back to Care DIY What. Today we have a Dollar Tree DIY featuring my overflowing ornament centerpiece. So you'll want to start out with the supplies of ornaments, a bunch of ornaments, lots and lots of ornaments. You'll want some ribbon if you want to decorate the tree, a serving fork, of course the Christmas tree, a tree skirt, some lights, I ended up getting blue by accident, but they do have clear ones. And a bell or a bucket or something to hold the fork and a charger or plate. So just fluff out the tree as much as you can. It is pretty thin, but it's definitely workable. So you'll want to pull out the branches, fluff them out, flock it. So it's nice and as full as it can get, it's nice and full. So just spread out the branches and make it puff and fluff up. While I have you, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell down at the bottom so that you're notified each time I upload a video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you follow me on Instagram at, at CareDIYWhat. So the biggest task will be getting the fork to be glued on to the bell and placing it on the tree. So first you'll want to start with gluing the fork onto the bell. Um, this part will require a significant amount of glue just so that you know that it's nice and sturdy and stuck on there. I wanted to glue on the edge of the bell and where the fork kind of touched the edge so that it gave it that extra security. So you want to place as much glue as you feel is enough to make sure it's stuck and, and still in place. And just continue to add if you feel like the fork is shifting or anything like that. And kind of add some glue on top to kind of give it that extra security on top of the glue. So the glue will be underneath the fork and also on top of the fork and kind of try to press down so that you know that it's actually going to stick in place. Go ahead and glue the stand onto the charger or plate that you have and then you'll want to take some twist ties or zip ties or twine or whatever and you'll want to attach the bottom of the fork onto the mid middle of the tree and this will ensure that you have that flowy kind of look that we're going for for this one so you want to add another twist tie to where the middle of the fork is to the top of the tree and that kind of gives it that that flowing look that we're going for So this part is trial and error as I put on the lights which aren't very long so you'll need more than one. I figured first don't forget to put the batteries in there that's very important. <laughs> don't be like me and forget that it needs batteries and then have to go back and put them in. Um, so yeah put the batteries in and then I put it in the top of the bell but realized that it was just too heavy. So before I realized I didn't like it that way I started to glue on the ornaments so that it will kind of cover where the battery pack is and I'll get back to the battery pack but you'll want to add some fox snow onto the top to kind of hide the fork like the silver part of the fork and I just decided to continue to add snow to kind of give it that snowy illusional look um, to go along with the snow at the top then you can go ahead and add the tree skirt and glue that down to the charger so that it covers the bottom of the stand and you don't really see the stand there I 
All right, so now back to the battery pack. I decided after I realized that it just was too heavy for the top, I took that out and hid it underneath the snow, which was another reason why I thought the snow would be a good idea. So both battery packs are underneath the snow. Now here comes the fun part. You'll want to add as many ornaments as you can in variations, different directions, different sizes. Just go ahead and fill in all of the open spaces with the ornaments in different colors and different sizes and different directions, variations. And don't forget that the glue is super duper hot, especially because I have a high temp glue gun. The, the glue is really hot, so just be careful with that in your fingers. I basically have no fingerprints at this point <laughs> in my DIY life from um, burning my fingers with the glue. But nonetheless, that is the life of DIY. So yeah, this part was a little difficult because the ornaments are kind of more heavier than the tree. So it takes a little time and patience, but it definitely um, works in the end. The good thing is that you can add glue to the different sides of the ornament and kind of stick them on one another to give it the extra security to stay put. Yes, yeah, so just continue placing the ornaments, lots and lots of ornaments um, onto the tree, however you see fit as far as filling in the spaces and the holes. And that's pretty much it. We are on day nine out of day 12 days of Christmas crafts. I hope you've enjoyed thus far. And um, if you have any suggestions for the last couple of days, comment down below and let me know what you have in mind that you would like to see on the channel. And we will go from there also don't forget to check out simply mendy her link is up above and thanks for watching thanks for tuning in all of these days and catching all of my diys and i will see you tomorrow for day 10.